We have seen some wildlife around here today. We saw a road runner. We've seen some raven. And uh, the one thing that we didn't care for too much is they told us to make sure to shake out uh, your shoes before you put them on in the morning and check under the sheets before you go to bed at night. They do have scorpions uh, in this area. Although she did say that if we got a scorpion bite around here, it's more like a bee sting. So nothing that can kill you. That's something we don't want to see though. We are standing in front of the visitor center and museum, museum here at Death Valley. And you can see behind me, it looks pretty green and actually kind of cool. It's an unusual day here in Death Valley. We have some cloud cover and we have a little grass back here, which isn't the easiest thing in the world to grow in Death Valley, but you can tell why. Uh, we have a little hose out here. Kind of the secret form there is that they have to use a lot of water, but they do have a spring that comes in here, so they're able to do it, make a little man-made oasis. But if you look on the other side of me here, we have uh, basically a lot of grayness, rocks, dirt, and uh, mountains, actually. So we are in the valley between the Panamint Mountains and the Amagosa Range behind me in Death Valley and basically what you see is a lot of dirt and rocks and not much vegetation until you get into this area which is the Furnace Creek area and that's kind of a booming little town in the middle of the desert. It was a hot day for us today, 113 degrees. The humidity was up a little bit for this part of the world so that made it a little bit more uncomfortable but I think we've benefited from that somewhat and then it has clouded over and they said that's pretty unusual so a little break for us this afternoon. Hmm. Jill, for folks who uh, don't actually live around that area and who aren't familiar with it, uh, are there actually people who live in the Death Valley area with the lack of water there? Well, they do have a spring that feeds in here, so they do have water in the midst of this desert, and there are about 200, maybe up to 300 people that live here. Most of them run the park area. They work at the visitor center, they work at the inn or the ranch. And it's a pretty small town. A lot of visitors come through. Even on a day like today, we're not in the midst of uh, the big tourism season. We saw a lot of people come through the visitor center uh, and come in and gear up with the water and uh, cool off in the air conditioning briefly before they hit the road uh, back across the desert again. And water, of course, uh, something that every person visiting should be carrying around with them. You certainly want to be well hydrated. Jill, thanks a lot for giving us a view of Death Valley as we explore yet another brutal climate here on the Weather Channel. We're going to toss it back to Paul, and he's going to give us an idea of what we can expect. Will it be brutal for your weekend? He'll tell you, Paul. Well, first of all, let's be brutally...